Uh, made armor plates using QMesh, but now I want to make them thicker. Do I have to delete everything but the back face again for every armor plate and re mesh? No, yeah, if you have armor plates, for example, I'm just going to really quickly use a topology brush, and then we'll make some armor plating, and I'll go ahead and split mass points here. So we've got our armor here, and then if you're just using, uh, I'm going to go through here, I'm going to do a crease tolerance and then hit dynamics. So if you're just using dynamic subdivisions with like a crease level three, smooth subdivision of a four, and we can go through here and say QMesh, a single poly, and we can go pull this one back, and run another crease, and then we can like, I don't know, slide this edge here. So you've got armor plating like this, and uh, as long as you're using dynamic subdivisions, um, you're always free to go through here and be like, I want this to be a little thinner. So QMesh, polygroup all, just hold down shift, push along those surface normals, push along those surface normals. Now, if it is dynameshed or it is like actual subdivision history, it's going to be a little bit tougher. You can isolate these back portions here. You can mask them and invert them and you can kind of move them, but it's going to get nasty. So when I'm doing armor stuff, that's why I always try and keep dynamic subdivisions on for as long as possible just so that I have the flexibility. I can do shift D and D to go out of dynamic and I can always go through here and I can either pull along the surface normal or at any point I can, you know, it's like an inset polygroup all region. You can inset a region and then Q mesh polygroup all and just pull along those surface normals there. And then D we can crease along our polygroup there or just run a crease tolerance. And it just gives me a lot more flexibility for armor and not have to resorting to dynameshing and then, oh, I want to make it thinner. Well, now if it's dynameshed, for example, if we go to here to apply and then Dynamesh, we'll get more into this later, obviously, guys. Turn on local symmetry, you can kind of try and scale it that way, but, or clip, it's kind of a pain. Uh, have you done any armor from start in any of your previous workshop videos? Yeah, and if you go to my YouTube channel, and it's kind of hit or miss, if you go to my playlists, if you scroll down, and you go here to like ZBrush Mech Helmet Concept or Concept Sketching, these are pretty old, but you can see me kind of getting my ideas out quickly, and then if you just do a search, for armor on here, you can see here's chest armor breakup, here's stylized shoulder pads, so I do uh, arm hitching ass. I want to apply an IMM zipper brush mesh on a curve, but how to reverse the direction of the zipper mesh on the curve. Techniques that are at, like in my ZBrush 2018 What's New videos. Also, if you go to my Pavlovich workshop and you scroll all the way down, um, we do start out making this uh, sci-fi female from scratch. Again, it's pretty old, but we are going through here and doing a lot of, uh, we make our tech suit and we go through here and I'm just kind of concepting some armor out, but we'll be talk talking about some of this uh, in this series as well.